Greetings, scribblers! Kent Sean here, and today I am thrilled to reveal the cover, title, and release date of my first self-publication. But before we get into it, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss one blood splatter in our messy writing crime scene. That's gross. Before we get into the reveal, just a quick reminder that submissions are open for the prize pursuing, emotion evoking, drama demolishing, simile scrambling, sinfully scintillating, awkwardly alliterating, trope torpedoing, terribly titled short story competition of doom. Seven K words or less, any genre, submissions close April 1st, winners announced May 1st. First place wins a hundred dollars. Second and third place win $25. Winners will be featured on my website and in videos, so take a chance, get your writing out there, and uh, have some fun. I don't know where that New York accent came from. And now, without further ado, I don't know what that means. A do, hairdo, a do, do, do. It's probably not poop. And now, without further stalling, a short story collection, six years in the making. We here at the Kent Sean YouTube channel are proud to present Four Tales of Suspense, Horror, Murder, and Madness. In the future, universal health care is murder. The interlinked neural net has virtually eliminated crime and disease. Now a terrorist group known as the Ghosts have learned to mask their links and wage bloody war against the universal healthcare clinics. They paint the name of their leader blood red on the walls. Jesse Callum, a link engineer, still reeling from his wife's suicide, is called in for questioning. Will he convince the manic healthcare director, Carrie Evans, that he's not a terrorist? Or will he have his memory shredded and lose his soul? Crooked cop, a backwards meth-dealing dynasty, a haunted stretch of road. When Sheriff's deputy Ryan Maffitt wakes up in his cruiser deep in the territory of a wicked family of drug dealers, he discovers he's missing a lot more than his nickel-plated revolver. Now haunted by the ghosts of his own wickedness, he has one day to penetrate the horror of the inbred Crenshaw clan and take back what was stolen from him. Will Maffitt get his revenge on the Crenshaws, or will the evil soaked in the ground rise and drag him down to hell? monster is born on a sweltering night by the river in Savannah, Georgia. Pissed off at life and pissed drunk, Wade Abbott finally crosses the line with his wife Amy. When Wade is left high and dry, no money, no ride, and a hefty bar tab, he faces a bad end to a bad night. An unlikely Samaritan comes to his rescue, but is there more to him than meets the eye? More than one life ends with one pull of the trigger. Trip, a small town loser is desperately in love with Cindy who works at the local market. When a robber pulls a gun on Cindy, Trip's attempt to save her plunges him into a pit of violence and madness. Will he choose death, damnation, or both? Evil Grows in the Dark is a short story collection of horror, suspense, and madness. If you like supernatural horror, psychological thrills, and mind-bending twists, then you'll love this debut short story collection by Kent Sean. Unlock Evil Grows in the Dark and start the journey into madness today. Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. These stories are near and dear to my heart. Most of them come from early in my writing journey, and I considered all of them a serious challenge to pull off. Most of the time when I write short fiction, I'm looking for a challenge. Instead of writing a protagonist everybody can root for, I generally write about unsavory characters who, more often than not, deserve the hellish situation in which they find themselves. I love the power of short fiction to stretch and to explore topics that I probably wouldn't spend six months to a year on like I might in a novel. These stories represent some of the darker sides of my writing, and if you're not a fan of adult horror and suspense, this is probably not the collection for you. The blood on the cover might be a clue. Scribblers, Evil Grows in the Dark is available March 1st 
on Amazon, Kobo, Apple, or wherever you buy your books. Please come check it out. I can't wait to read them. Uh, you can't. Maybe when you're older. Well, at least I can read Blind Spot when it comes out in May. Advanced reader copies of Evil Grows in the Dark are out in the world right now. Everyone subscribed to my newsletter already got one. If you want your free copy, updates on new releases, giveaways, and more, please come sign up to the Kent Sean Newsletter of Doom. Link is in the description. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter, and please come join my newsletter at kentshawn.com. Till next time, scribblers, butts in seats. Fingers on keyboards.